The movie begins with Danny Moonstar being awakened by her father during what seems to be a natural disaster. He tells her to run as their Cheyenne reservation is being destroyed by an unseen force. They flee into the woods, but something ominous and powerful is chasing them. Danny's father tells her to hide, and he runs off to confront the danger. Danny hears terrifying noises and then sees her father unalive by an unseen force. Scared and confused, Danny runs but is knocked unconscious by the force. She wakes up in a strange hospital room, where she's greeted by Dr. Cecilia Reyes. She explains that Danny is in a facility for young mutants who are learning to control their powers. Danny is confused and traumatized by the events she witnessed, but is assured by Dr. Reyes that she is safe. Danny also learns that she is the only survivor of the disaster that destroyed her home. Danny is introduced to the other young mutants in the facility. These include Ron Sinclair, who can turn into a wolf. Ilyana Rasputin, who wields a powerful sword and can create portals to another dimension. Sam Guthrie, who can propel himself into the air at great speed, and Roberto da Costa, who can manipulate solar energy. Each character has their own trauma and is trying to control their powers. The hospital has a claustrophobic and unsettling atmosphere. It's clear that the young mutants are being monitored and controlled, with Dr. Reyes keeping a close watch on them. The facility is surrounded by an energy field, preventing the mutants from escaping, which adds to the tension and sense of entrapment. Danny struggles to understand what's happening and why she's in the facility. The other mutants are wary of her, as they know nothing about her powers, and Danny herself is unsure of what she can do. She begins to have strange visions and nightmares, which add to her growing anxiety and fear. Danny continues to struggle with the trauma of losing her family and the uncertainty about her powers. She forms a bond with Ron, who shows empathy towards Danny and tries to help her adjust to life in the facility. Ron reveals her own struggles with her powers and her religious guilt, stemming from her upbringing. Ilyana is openly hostile towards Danny, mocking her and trying to intimidate her. Ilyana's dark past is hinted at through her aggressive behavior and her interactions with Lockheed, a puppet dragon she carries around. Ilyana's powers, including her ability to transport to a demonic dimension called Limbo, make her a formidable presence in the group. The scene shifts to Sam Guthrie and Roberto da Costa. Sam, who can propel himself at high speeds, is haunted by the death of his father in a mining accident that occurred when Sam first manifested his powers. Roberto, who can manipulate solar energy, hides his fear of losing control of his powers, which once led to a tragic incident involving his girlfriend. The young mutants start experiencing terrifying visions and nightmares that seem to be linked to their deepest fears. These manifestations are initially unexplained, but it becomes clear that something sinister is happening in the facility. The line between reality and illusion begins to blur, creating a sense of paranoia among them. Dr. Reyes continues to monitor the mutants closely, using advanced technology to study their powers. She insists that the facility is meant to help the young mutants learn to control their abilities so that they can eventually join a group of real X-Men. However, her true motives are unclear, and the mutants begin to question whether they are really being helped or if they are being held captive. As the visions become more intense and personal, the mutants start to suspect that there is more to their situation than they were told. Danny, in particular, becomes increasingly paranoid as she realizes that the facility might be manipulating their fears for some unknown purpose. In the evening, Roberto hears someone singing in the swimming pool room. Curious and somewhat intrigued, he decides to investigate. When he arrives, he finds Ilyana sitting by the pool, singing softly to herself. Ilyana, appearing calm and somewhat alluring, invites Roberto to join her in the pool. Despite some initial hesitation, Roberto, who has feelings for Ilyana and is seeking comfort, decides to join her. They begin to flirt, and their chemistry leads to them kissing passionately in the water. Shortly, Roberto's emotions begin to spiral out of control, causing his powers to manifest. He tries to calm himself down, but his powers are too strong and driven by his fear and guilt. Suddenly, Ilyana vanishes into the water without a trace. Roberto is left alone, confused, and increasingly anxious as he tries to understand what just happened. In a shocking twist, the figure of Roberto's ex-girlfriend, who died tragically due to his powers, appears in the pool. Her ghostly form is charred and burned, reflecting the way she died. Overwhelmed by fear and guilt, Roberto loses control of his powers entirely. Flames engulf his body, and the heat radiates from him, boiling the water around him. The next day, Dr. Reyes, growing increasingly concerned about Danny's unpredictable abilities, decides to sedate her in hopes of forcing her to relive the traumatic night when her father was unalived. As Danny is sedated, her powers activate uncontrollably. Danny's ability causes the deepest fears of those around her to manifest in a very real and terrifying way. Run, who has a traumatic history with religion and her powers, 
is haunted by the image of a priest who once tried to cure her of what he deemed to be a sin. While in the shower, Ron sees the priest, who begins to brand her with a W mark again, just as he did in her past. Overwhelmed with fear, Ron screams for help. Ilyana, having previously been suspicious of Danny, realizes that Danny's powers are responsible for bringing their fears to life. In response, Ilyana uses her powers to protect herself and Rana. She opens a portal to Limbo. However, Ron, sensing what is happening, uses her powers to turn into Ilyana's worst fear, and she momentarily becomes paralyzed. Dr. Reyes, who has been monitoring the mutants, reveals that her true purpose is to determine which of them could be useful as weapons for the Essex Corporation. Upon realizing the extent of Danny's powers, Reyes concludes that Danny is too dangerous and must be eliminated. She takes her to another room away from the group and begins suffocating her. As Danny is being suffocated, her powers go out of control, manifesting everyone's worst fears even more intensely. Luckily, Ron gets into the room and attacks Dr. Reyes, she quickly gets up and frees Danny. Later, Danny's deepest fear, the monstrous demon bear that unalived her family, fully manifests as a gigantic, terrifying creature. The demon bear attacks the facility, causing chaos and destruction. Reyes tries to control the situation but is ultimately unalived by the demon bear. The remaining mutants decide to face the demon bear together. Ilyana, using her powers and her soul sword, confronts the demon bear in limbo. With her dragon companion Lockheed by her side, she battles the bear, cutting it and trying to weaken it. Sam and Roberto also use their abilities to fight the bear, with Roberto using his solar powers to attack it and Sam using his speed and flight to evade and strike. While the others are fighting, Ron tries to wake Danny, urging her to confront her fear. Ron tells Danny that she's the only one who can stop the demon bear. Danny eventually wakes up and faces the demon bear, realizing that it is a manifestation of her own fear. She calms herself and speaks to the bear, telling it that it doesn't control her anymore. As she overcomes her fear, the demon bear begins to shrink and eventually dissipates, defeated. With the demon bear defeated, the sun rises, and the storm subsides. The mutants realize they are free from Dr. Reyes and the Essex Corporation. They leave the facility together, knowing that they have become a team and have each other to rely on. Make sure to like, and subscribe for more notifications. Until next time, see you soon.